Welcome to our Alpaca Wallets review. Today we're talking about the Alpaca Arc Card Wallet and the Alpaca Arc Bifold Wallet. We're gonna compare and contrast these wallets, show you what you need to know, talk about the pros and the cons, and at the end, if they're not the wallets for you, I'll make a few alternative recommendations for other wallets that I have, literally right here, so you can find the best wallet for your needs. Let's go. Let's talk about the gist of the Alpaca wallets. Alpaca is a carry company raining from the land down under, and they're making some waves. Mostly for their bags, but honestly, I was like super impressed with their wallets. These wallets are both made from X-Pack material, which is so cool because I've reviewed 300 bags at this point, a lot of which use X-Pack. So I've seen it on a lot of bags. I've never seen it on a wallet before. And I was thinking to myself like, why not dude? Like we should use this for wallets because it's so sick. This material is the same material that sailboats use on their sailcloths. So it's highly durable, highly weather resistant, while still being smooth to the touch and having a nice little gloss and aesthetic to it. Both of these wallets come in three different color options. I got the gray for both, and the interior for me is orange for both. Let's talk about how the cards are different. The card wallet is basically, as the name suggests, just a little wallet for your cards, a little bit extra. It holds four to six cards, two card slots on either side, and a main compartment, which is ideal for maybe some more cards, but for me, I think it's a good spot for carrying some cash. The bifold wallet, as the name suggests, it's one of those. No exterior carry, but we got one two card slots on this side, one card slot on the other side, and then two inner compartments as well. Remember, the card wallet carries up to six cards and the bifold carries 14 or more cards. And it should be noted the bifold is RFID blocking. In essence, these are wallets that are designed to be super lightweight and minimalist. Like compared to like a, an old school of dad wallet, this is the Bellroy hide and seek, the most beautiful dad wallet ever, but it's thicker, it's bulkier. The card wallet in contrast, you know, just supposed to be like a very minimalist sort of alternative. We'll talk more about Bellroy in just a second. Couple of notes in the user experience. Here I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards and five bills. So the card wallet says it can fit up to six cards. We'll put two on either side for a total of four. And you can feel it's got a really nice tight feel to it. But that's one of the problems with this wallet is how tight it can get. Cause it's so small and so minimalist and so lightweight that there's not a lot of room for give. So if you are carrying some bills in this middle compartment, you gotta really get them in there cause this wallet is just tight. Story like a tiger, as, as that one dude from Austin Powers would say. And that tightness extends to the cards too because it makes the cards a little difficult to get out. Not super hard, you saw, like I just took them out, not too bad. But like, it's not the super ease of use that some other wallets have where you can just sort of glide with your cards right out. But on the flip side, that could be a good thing because it means that your cards are very, very, very secure. On the flip side, let's talk about the bifold. Put the cash in the back. This can fit up to 14 plus cards, it says. But similar to the other wallet, this one gets a bit tight, at least on this part. It's just the way that the X-Pack is sort of sewed and how the material reacts. It's not leather. Leather is a bit more loosey-goosey, a bit more give and a take. X-Pack is tight, which is good because these cards aren't flying out. But I will say that the design of this pocket right here is quite loose actually, so it's easier to grab these, but that means they might fall out a bit easier as well. Always a give and a take. Ultimately, these are super light, super minimalist wallets made with a fantastic material that'll last for years to come. Okay, let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Alpaca wallets. Pro number one, super lightweight. Pro number two, super minimalist. And pro number three, you gotta love this X-Pack material. I think it's so cool they made wallets out of X-Pack. So cool. But on the flip side, a couple cons. Con number one, particularly on the card wallet, is gonna be a super tight sort of experience. Like it's hard to get the cards out. And that's it. These things rock, I only have one con. And if you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, I totally agree. In fact, that's not even a con to me. I love that wallet. I'm gonna buy one or both. And if you're gonna make a purchase or just wanna find out more information, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. Reason being, that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. But I did promise you a few alternatives. So if you're here for that, let me run you through a few. Alternative number one is the Bellroy Hide and Seek. This is for you if you're like, you know, dude, I was kind of looking for a new wallet, but I just want something old school, leather and awesome. That's what the Bellroy Hide and Seek does best. It's like the dad wallet catapulted into the future. And we did a full review on the hide and seek, which you can find by navigating on down to the description below. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Distill Union Wally Bifold, 
5.0. This is for you if access was really important. You want something that you can always access your, your cards super quickly, not too tight. The Wally has like so many points of access for your cards. It's like a wallet masterpiece. It's so cool. And to learn more about it, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And finally, I mean, I got so many wallets you sh and you're, you're still here. It's like, you should probably watch this video where I break down all my favorite wallets of all time. Cause let me tell you, there's a lot of freaking awesome wallets in the world right now. And I don't want you to miss out. So be sure to watch it and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomad's Nation and we'll catch you next time.